we are not willing to accept the explanation given by Honorable Lakshman Yaap Abhevadana with respect to the casino that is being uh, uh, set up in Colombo. There is enough documentary evidence to show that this investment by Crown is not only an integrated development project, it is also a casino. The finance ministry has, in writing, uh, instructed the board of investment to ensure that if uh, Packers Crown uh, Casino invests more than $350 million, that it be given all kinds of concessions, including income tax breaks, and also, most significantly, an exemption from the betting and gaming levy. In most countries, casinos are set up in order to increase government revenues. There are three sources of government revenue in every country that the government can always rely on. One is the tobacco industry, the other one is the alcohol industry, the other one is the gaming or the casino industry. So while there has been numerous um, objections by civil society, by the, uh, the Buddhist clergy, by the Catholic Church, that these are not uh, going to be uh, good for the country's morals and ethics, and that these should be uh, reconsidered. The government seemed to suggest that, no, there is no such thing. In fact, Lakshmanya Pabevadhan yesterday said, perhaps we can uh, stop local uh, players from entering these casinos and so on. But I'm not going to talk about that. That is for them to sort out with the, 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 the civil society and clergy. But all what I am saying is that if casinos are going to be introduced to Sri Lanka, three things will have to happen. First, they must establish a casino regulator. There is a gaming regulator in almost every country that casinos operate. And Packer is very well aware that whether it be in his native Australia or in Macau or Singapore or Malaysia, he will have to abide by the regulator's very strict rules and regulations. Two, there must be a minimum 40% tax on uh, gambling uh, casinos if uh, it is to be introduced um, here at any time. So, and the third thing, obviously, is that the government must come clean. There is no way in which they can bring this uh, hiding behind the f what they are saying, that this investment is only an integrated development project. It is not so. Just be straightforward, be upfront, let us have a discussion, discuss with all the stakeholders and find out if there is a way to make this happen. If not, they better take it back.